Hi Jack, this is the video, the short video I promised you on Facebook and it's about the NURBS and how to uh, make a, a mix of corners and, and, and curves in, in one go and in one single object. So let's start, uh, let's go to top view and then let's pull out the uh, create the curve tools menu. So I got it here and we'll start from the easiest one to the hardest one. So the easiest one is the, basi uh, the Bezier curve tool. Click on that and then just click anywhere and then you can click and drag for curves and just one single click for corners and keep going. Okay, and if you want to get out of the tool, press enter. And that's done, super easy. And if you want a NURBS, you can convert this into a NURBS if you want, like by going into modify and com uh, convert and Bezier to NURBS, which is here. So, okay, next one is the medium difficulty one. It is the a EP curve tool, which is a uh, edit point curve tool. So click the tool click click enter you get out of the tool if you go into uh, control vertex mode you have this vertices you that you can modify as you want something like this and if you want to create a corner here you have to create another curve and which is pretty easy so if I, if i press y on the keyboard you got the latest tool and then press and hold C to temporary snap to curve and click and drag. And you can see this is snapping to this curve. So, so drag it until it stops and then draw, um, click another vertex here and then press Y again. So you don't have to actually get out of the tool and then again into the tool. With Y, you can just do this uh, in one go. So press Y and again, hold C, drag, click okay and uh, get out of the tool by pressing enter so next step is right click curve point click and drag until it stops right click curve point shift click and drag until it stops and then you go into curves menu and attach with these options I show you. So don't blend, otherwise you will, go, you will go rid, get rid of the uh, corners. So you want to connect and you want to keep multiple knots, there won't, there there won't be any. And then do you don't want to keep the originals. So that one and attach. So now you have a single curve. Same thing for this and that. <coughs> sorry right click curve point click and drag right click curve point shift click and drag stops and attach and this way you have <coughs> and you have a continuous curve with corners which you can again you can modify as you want okay Last one is the hardest one. It's not that hard, but you know, it's the most annoying one, which is with the CV curve tool. So control vertex curve tool. So click that and then one, two, three. And th at the fourth, you will see the curve. Okay. Like that. So same thing. Press Y on the keyboard and then press and hold C, click and drag. Boom. And then keep on doing that let me just get this out of the way and press Y press and hold C click and drag and keep going okay once it's finished um, press enter to get out of the tool so and then the same thing as before with the EP curve right click curve point, drag, right click, curve point, shift drag, and a 
don't touch. Same thing here. Right click, curve point, click and drag. Right click, curve point, shift, click and drag, attach. Right? And you got another continuous curve. Obviously, for what you have to do, the best way is this, which is the Bezier curve tool. So you can see you can modify the curve as as you as you want, and you know it's very easy. All right, and this concludes the super small tutorial. I hope that is helpful for you and if you have any other problems uh, if I can help I, I will try to do it um, until then see you the next time